to do this just because you're a woman living in today's culture, and it matters. And the first book is called Half the Sky, Half the Sky. And if you remember the woman's name, Cheryl Wu Dunn, if you just write in Half the Sky, you're going to have 40,000 uh, pop-ups because it's a very, this is a movement now. This woman's, and her husband's courageous book yeah. is creating a movement. There's a movie, and uh, the book is fascinating because it, I tell you, it changed my politics. It changed my relationship with the Lord. It changed the reason that I uh, do what I do. So half the sky. And this walks through the condition of women worldwide. And so it's easy for us to think, oh, we're in the West. We have a pretty good. But when you see the implications, so much of what we're going to talk about tonight is the implications of beliefs and how those things play out. And it's why the Lord cares about this stuff so much. It's not... This isn't my opinion or whether I like it. This is about what was the Lord's heart. What is his intention? Okay, so half the sky. This is an old book and harder to find, but it's called As Jesus Cared for Women by David Hager. And it's fascinating. It walks through different stories and uh, real-life stories and biblical stories. And this was, I got this book as a young Christian, and finally here was a man, no less, talking about the interactions of Jesus with women. Because so many times it's downplayed, and I can't tell you how many years of church I've sat in and had it downplayed, and possibly you have too. Okay, and then um, the next one is Powerful and Free by Danny Silk. This is a new book. It's only been out maybe a year or so. And it's a first, it's a first stab. Do you know what I'm saying? Have you read authors where they take a run at a subject and they keep hitting the, That's I think that's my story. I've taken a run, one book, I've made a hard run at it, and i got another book coming. You know what I mean? i got to keep hammering at that wall. And this is gonna, he's going to have more from him. But he is very vocal, very biblically based, and really slams some notions about how we do life and church and women and all this. Danny Silk, he's just a great author. I love him. He's, he's a prophet of our day because he's got fresh revelation from the Lord. And then this book is for the brave of heart. It's thick, but it's life-changing. And it's called The Mystic Way of Evangelism. Who wants to read a book with that title? Yeah. So, the only reason I read it is because it came highly recommended to me. The Mystic Way of Evangelism. And it's by Elaine Heath. And what I loved about this book was this book tells you about the mothers of the faith. We always hear about the fathers of the faith, but we don't ever hear about the mamas. And finally, here it was, and all these resources, I'm going, where has this been on my life? And it was just powerful, it just amazing, just amazing. So, and there are many more. There are many more that you can look at, but those are things. And obviously, the first uh, and most important book that I went to study for this topic was the Bible. And so I'd like to start there in Genesis. I want to give you some biblical foundation I want to give you some very, very confronting clips, and then I want to um, let you go home and sort it out with Jesus. <laughs> Not really, but mostly. Okay, so if you go back to Genesis, and so I want to start with Genesis 1, and I want to show you, I'm going to walk through with you a little bit how my own journey with the Lord started. Become a Christian. I'm in the world, I'm in the world and having a, a woman in a man's world and having the men tell me what women can and cannot do as unbelievers. Does anybody track with what I'm talking about? All places, things that you can't do, can't do, can't do, can't do. And so then I become a Christian and voila, it's even worse in the church. 